gosh. I was about to do Hey Explorer, but that's not it anymore. I'm about to go. <laughs> okay. New intro, here we go. Then it's your girl Laura and welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm so glad you decided to tune in with me today. Um, it's been a minute. If you don't know, I was gone for the month of January. I was spending time with God, doing the Daniel fast, reconnecting with him. And let me tell you, after 2020, <laughs> that was so, 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 so needed. Um, I got to know God deeper. I got to know myself deeper, who I am as a Christian, who I am as myself, who I am as a daughter, a sister, a friend, um, just all those things. And um, asking God for a lot of things in prayer and believing that he is, that he answered some of them already and he's still answering the others. So my faith is being tested this year. Um, but anyway... God, spending time with God is great. As always, I'm gonna spend time with him every single day, but like just dedicating a whole month to him, absolutely necessary. I highly suggest that. Get rid of all the distractions and just get in tune with God. But let's get to the video. I am doing a story time. I've never done one of these. I'm kind of scared. I don't know how it will go. Like I'm better at telling stories when there's people around me, but telling it to a camera, who knows, who knows? Actually, I'm not that great of a storyteller. Like, I could feel, you have to, like, tell a story to, like, people or someone, and then you can just feel, like, it getting boring, and you're trying to, like, save the story, but you just don't know how. Well, hopefully, the story doesn't get boring. But <laughs> let's just get right into it. The story. You can't tell me that wasn't a bear. Moral? Pray? Anyway. So in September of 2017, um, right before going into my junior year, like literally a couple of days before going to my junior year, I went hiking with two of my friends and we went to Rampo Valley County Reservation. I was so excited to go. This was like my second time hiking ever in my life. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm doing this. It's just gonna be us. Like we're becoming like the teenagers that we're meant to be, like high schoolers doing their own thing, whatnot, right? So um, we go hiking and like the views are just so pretty and like the mountain or just the reservation was just so so big like there were so many trails to pick from so we were on the course of like the main trail we were following everyone else we saw people's dogs and it was just really it was nice the weather was good the sun was shining and you know i think that's when like the iphone 8 what a new iphone came out and it was like the portrait mode and you know we're going hiking we're looking good end of summer we have to post pictures for instagram before like the new before we get into school that way when, people, when we meet people again on like the first day of school they be like oh my gosh you look so good you know stuff that was in my head i don't know about them but that was in my head so i mean i guess it was in their head too because this is how it goes so as we're following the main trail we're going up 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 and uh we like we're just seeing people and then we notice this one trail but we it's not that we noticed this one trail we saw the sun <laughs> was on that trail you know you gotta have good lighting especially when you're like in the forest the woods because there's nothing but trees so you're just gonna have shadows on your face but we saw this one trail with a whole bunch of sun and we were like let's go over there so us being who we are <laughs> went to follow the sun and so we're going around this trail and then we hear something i was like and we're thinking okay it's like a woodpecker or something and we're like looking up and we can't find it so we keep going deeper into the trail trying to find what this thing is and we're like getting scared because like thing things are like buzzing around you know flies and whatnot we're in nature so we keep trying to find um this bird that's like pecking at the wood and then like we're looking up and i think we finally found it and when we finally found it we were trying to like figure out how to get back and realize we don't see any more markers left because i don't know if you guys ever been hiking but if you have been hiking you know that like you know what trail you're on by the marker there's like the red trail the yellow trail the green trail and like the trees like have a marker on them to let you know where you're going which trail you're on all that good stuff we didn't have that anymore. <laughs> we did not have that anymore. And there was no signal either. We were trying to like figure out how, where do we go from here? 
we were trying to call it out like hello anyone out there heard nothing but the nature like wind the bugs the bird that was pecking at the freaking wood and we're just like where do we go where do we go so we're just walking and we're just continuing to walk now i was not aware of this part of the mountain but at this reservation there is known to be like bears and stuff and then I think my friend, one of our, one of my friends was telling me like, Laura, there's like bears and stuff. I was just like, okay, <laughs> that's fine. It doesn't phase me, but it did. So we went straight to our phones to try to look up, like, what do we do if we see a bear? Luckily there was like one bar of service that we got and we were figured out like if it's a black, I forgot what it is, but like one of the bears, if you see it, you, you don't move, you don't run. Um, or another bear like you clap or something like I don't remember what it is that you have to do but there are like different things that you have to do for certain bears and I'm just like how am I gonna remember this in the heat of the moment when my adrenaline's rushing and I lock eyes with the bear like what the heck do I do so we get like that bear information down and then we just continue following a path that like isn't marked but like there's clear people have walked by this way so we just keep walking and walking and walking me i packed snacks for this hike because i was like okay we're going hiking i need to stay hydrated i need my food and stuff like that and at the time i was kind of obsessed with stop and shop applesauce and i still am like i don't eat it as much but like if i had it i would eat that thing all day but at the time i was obsessed with stop and shop applesauce and i took out my jar and i was eating my applesauce and then as so we're like walking deeper into the trail or the trail walking deep in the trail i'm eating my applesauce and then like my two friends they're ahead of me and i'm just like eating and then like i hear this noise i'm like Ch -ch -ch. i'm just like did i step on something because it wasn't fun they had stopped to like Ch -ch -ch. wait for me to catch up um so i hear Ch -ch -ch. i'm just like what's that <laughs> what's going on is another bird up in there like up in the wood um the tree so i stop i'm like did y'all hear that and they're just like yeah what was that i'm just like i don't know so i will get closer to them and then instead of hearing like a like someone walking on the leaves like dry leaves or something now we hear a noise i'm just like what's that and then we hear another noise and like, god what is that instead of asking them i was like god what's happening so I didn't see a bear but you cannot tell me I didn't hear a bear okay like I heard distinctly that bear noise and I'm just like all right we gotta get out of here I do not like this I'm about to enter my junior year like it, it can't be like this so um I was like you know what we're gonna stop and we're gonna pray so we prayed and I was like dear God don't let us get in like lock eyes with a bear don't let us like get eaten by a bear and then after i finished praying my two friends ran away from me and i'm just like um hello you can't leave me here but no they left and ran i'm just like wow 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 at some point they stopped and i'm just like ha 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 funny but like no that wasn't funny like what if like the bear would have came y'all would have just left me there and they're just like yeah one of us has to be the bait and i'm just like oh okay but anyway we're continuing on this path and i was like i don't know where this trail was taking us but it was not taking us back to where we started i could tell you that much we go into this path and then there's like this big um abandoned like not big abandoned there's like this medium size abandoned building and we're just like oh my gosh what if there's like a bear family in there because like it was big enough for like some bears to like hibernate for the winter or whatnot so we're just like walking by i'm praying i'm just like god please keep us protected like i don't want to see no bear and then it's like we just finally walk by that thing we don't see a bear we don't hear a bear and then we get on the side of the we finally found like this road that we went on that there was and we're just like oh my gosh i think we're close to like civilization so we walked this one way and we just realized that was going to take us deeper into the woods so where we were I'm like making this so confusing but basically we just walked the other um way of the road so we're walking down and then we finally see houses and in my head i'm just like let me go knock on these people's door but this is like a rich neighborhood so if i would have done that i might 
somebody got shot. Like they probably would have thought I was a bear, but not gonna get into that. So we just decided to keep walking and walking and walking. Um, and as we're walking down, I, I don't know, this like recently developed for me in 2017, like spring of 2017. If I walk long enough, my body will start to itch. I don't even have to walk long. My body will like, my legs will start itching and like, I just can't move. And that started to happen to me. I'm just like, God, I don't want to die out here in these woods. Like I can't, my friends, they can't leave me out here. Like God, like just make my body feel better. And so like, it took a minute. But I think God finally, like, he healed that part, portion of me and I was able to keep walking. So we're just, like, walking and walking and walking. And we finally reached the end of, like, this road. And it led us into, like, the main street. But the main street of this place that we're in, there's, like, no sidewalk for people. So we're walking on the side of the thing. We finally call one of my friend's mom and we're just like, hey, oh my gosh, um, can you come get us? Like... We just like we're running, I think we heard a bear, stuff like that. And then um, she was like, yeah, we're going to be on our way. So she was on her way and we went on the main road to try to go back to like the parking lot of the entrance of the the hiking trail. I really hope this is making sense. I and mean, I'm not just going all over the place, but you're following track. So um, we're hiking, we're going back towards the entrance and as we're walking, we just see the craziest things. We saw a dead carcass of like some animal. I don't know if it was like a fox or a dog, but all I know is that thing was fried. Like it was fried, it was dead. And I'm just like, I can't believe this is happening to us. Like, I don't want to end up like this thing. Like, I don't know where I am. There's no one near me. My phone's about to die, all that stuff. And so we're just like walking back to the entrance. Luckily, her mom came by the time we got into like before we got to the entrance so we didn't have to walk on the side of the road for that long but we got in the car and the first thing she tells us or not the first thing it was like one of the things that she tells us after we tell her about like us thinking we heard a bear she was just like oh my gosh did you know like three people got attacked by a bear and one person died something along with that i don't remember who died but someone did die from a bear attack so i was just like oh my gosh that made me just thank God even more in that moment because though we didn't see a bear I know in my heart I heard a bear and I was like I'm not gonna take any chances I'm gonna pray about this I'm gonna be like God protect us like protect us from any bear that tries to harm us and people can hear this story and be like Lord there was no bear be like you don't know if that was a bear or not but it's just like what happened if I didn't pray like if I didn't pray and didn't talk to God for protection, two things would have happened. It wasn't a bear, so nothing would have happened. Or two, it was a bear and something could have happened. So it's just like, which one would you rather go with? Would you rather take the chance that it's not a bear or take the chance that it is a bear and pray to God anyway for protection? And so for me, I prayed for not just myself, but for me and my friends and thank God, four years later, we are still here, alive, standing, and I can tell this story because I know in my heart, in my gut, that was a bear. I saw, a, not that I saw a bear, I heard a bear, and I needed God's protection because I know I can't outrun a bear. I know, couldn't well, I could not outrun a bear. I had things in my backpack, all this food, the bear would have came for me because it would have smelled my food, and all that, what, all that stuff. It's just so crazy. So I'm saying this whole story to say, pray anyway. If you have this internship that you're trying to apply for and it's between you and another person and you just know you're qualified for that job, you gotta pray anyway. Cause just cause you have the qualifications doesn't mean God might like, doesn't mean that that job might not take the other person cause they might want to give them a chance. Or maybe you don't have the qualifications for something and you're thinking, well, I just shouldn't even try. But it's just like, pray anyway. God might open up the door for you. I know that to be the case for me because I just got accepted into like this affiliate thing. And I did not meet the requirements to become an affiliate for my workplace. But yet some way, because of prayer, like I said, God, if, it's, if this is what you want me to do, then I'll do it. And luckily enough, I'm doing it. So it's just like, pray anyway. And it's not just like those situations that you could pray about. Like it's literally anything that you could pray about like say you're online for like you're at a buffet right i don't know if anyone's going to a buffet right now because of covid but say you're at a buffet 
and there's like two patties left like two like your favorite patty ever like a Jamaican beef patty or whatever I don't know this is a Jamaican buffet now but say there's a Jamaican patty left and know the person in front of you is just like oh I want to get two patties now some people have a gracious heart and will probably like save the other one for someone else and just take one but others will be greedy and take those two patties even if they know there won't be any more patties left for the day you better pray to God and be like God let that person have a gracious heart and only take one patty and then there you go you got another patty now again this is like an extreme case not an extreme case it's like a weird case but you never know what could happen by the power of a prayer and that's another thing the power of prayer is so 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 like god listens to us he hears us he sees us so it's like we have to pray these things but we can't just pray these things on a whim we have to pray these things in faith being like god help me help me with whatever i'm going through take care of this whatever i'm going through and like god will be there he might not like dissolve the situation but the situ like if you're going through something it might not just dissolve just by you saying okay god take care of it it might be that you have to go through that situation but ask god to help you get through it lean on him trust on him um and all that good stuff the point is pray anyway i hope my point became clear again i did not see a bear but i know in my heart i heard a bear and it's just like what would happen if i didn't pray i'd rather bank on praying than not praying and i think you should do the same no matter how drastic the situation or how minimal the situation may be if you want something then you want it ask god for provision for it um so yeah that's my that's my story time for today i hope you enjoyed this um this is kind of weird for me i'm not like a person who likes to sit in front of the camera and talk like i like my videos to have like movement in it so it doesn't like get boring or whatnot but um i think i'm gonna not do more of like story time i mean there might be more story times that i do but more of just like sitting in the camera and talking to you guys um but yeah thank you guys so much for listening i hope you enjoyed my story and that you got the point of my story which is to pray anyway about whatever and all that jazz there's a verse i think i want to say it's first thessalonians 5 17 it's somewhere in the bible and i'm pretty sure it's first thessalonians 5, it's just don't stop praying um and to pray about everything that's not first thessalonians that's somewhere else whatever it is it's gonna be right here Right. it's gonna be somewhere on the screen what the verse is but um pray the point is pray prayer works it's powerful god wants you to pray not just about the big stuff not just about the medium-sized stuff not just about the small stuff because god can handle each and every situation that you need so pray it doesn't hurt pray in faith too um but thank you guys so much for listening i think i would have said it like five times already but Yes, thank you for watching. Um, I can't wait to post more videos this year. I have like a whole bunch of stuff that I have lined up that I want to share with you all. Next week, I have a vlog for you guys that I'm so, so, so excited for. Like that one is going to be really emotional for me. So I might cry, might not. We'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, I hope you have a great night, morning, evening, afternoon, Whatever time you're watching this, I hope you have a wonderful one of those. I love you all so much and be blessed. Bye, y'all.